So there are three terms there, rheumatic fever, rheumatic carditis and rheumatic heart disease. What are their differences or on which context we should appropriately use them? That is the basic objective of this short session. So let's start with the term rheumatic fever or acute rheumatic fever. There's nothing in, on this planet called chronic rheumatic fever, by the way. So rheumatic fever, acute rheumatic fever basically means that it's a immunological complication of the group A streptococcus infection. It's not an infection itself, but rather a complication of group A streptococcus infection. Now this immunologically mediated disorder, which is rheumatic fever, it's multisystemic. It can involve multiple system, like it can involve joint as migratory polyarthritis, you know, it can involve skin, erythema marginate, terms of cutaneous nodule, it can involve the brain, Sydenham cori involving basal ganglia, and it also involves heart, typically presenting with carditis or pancarditis. So carditis or pancarditis or rheumatic carditis is basically a clinical manifestation of rheumatic fever, which is happening acutely at the time when this rheumatic fever is occurring. And it is involving all the layers of the heart. It is causing pericarditis, it can cause myocarditis, it can cause endocarditis, valvulitis. This feature is called rheumatic carditis, which is happening acutely at the same time of the rheumatic fever. Now comes the third term. The third term is rheumatic heart disease. Rheumatic heart disease basically means it's, the, it's a complication of rheumatic fever. Rheumatic heart disease is defined as permanent heart valve damage subsequent to acute rheumatic fever. That means as a result of acute rheumatic fever, when the permanent heart valve damage is occurring as a complication of it, then we use the term, prefer the term rheumatic heart disease. So this is the basic idea between when this term should be appropriately used. So let's begin, let's understand the chronology. First we have group A streptococcus infection as a complication, immunologically mediated complication of that, we developed acute rheumatic fever. Acute rheumatic fever at the time, they're manifesting multi-systemically involving multiple systems, they're also involving the heart. That time when the heart valve inflammation is occurring acutely, we call the term rheumatic carditis and if this process of rheumatic fever, typically when it occurs multiple times and causes subsequent permanent heart damage valve, as a sequel or complication of that, we use the term rheumatic heart disease. That is the appropriate way to use the terms. Though they are many times wrongly used in a loose, loosely they are used in inappropriate way. But this is the correct idea for using these terms in appropriate way. Thank you so much. I will continue with this in the future sessions also.